Live Slingerland. I'm an LA-based musician. I play for artists Caroline Kingsbury, Lauren Ruth Ward, and Halsey. And today I'm here to try out the new Line 6 Catalyst amp and go through the different amp and effects settings. First up today, we're gonna check out the first setting on the Catalyst amp, which is the clean setting. Let's see how these chords sound without effects on them. Awesome, I think that sounds really great. I'm just gonna see what I can do with some of the effects. So I added some delay and reverb to check out how it sounds with some guitar stabs. That sound is really cool. It kind of reminds me of something that the police would play. I really like how the delay sounds. The next setting on the Catalyst amp is the Boutique amp. So let me switch over to that and see how it sounds. <laughs> So this sound is obviously more overdriven than the clean sound. It sounds really great and easy to dig in on those power chords. I could totally imagine playing with a band and it filling out the sound really nicely. Let's see how the reverb sounds on it. Awesome, that sounds great. I really like how it fills out the space with just a little bit of reverb on it. The next amp setting on the Catalyst is called Chime. I'm gonna try out some parts that are higher up on the neck to see how that feels. I really like how clear and like with a little bit of overdrive there is on this. I'm gonna try some of the other effects on the Catalyst. Uh, aside from the delay and reverb, there's also modulation and pitch effects. So I'm gonna pick one of the modulation effects. Here's that same part with a rotary effect from the modulation bank and a shimmer reverb. Love how spacey that was. I feel like I could play that for a really long time. And the sounds are super cool. Um, they're developed from the HX sound technology that the Line 6 Helix also uses. They're super helpful with coming up with really cool guitar parts. Next setting on the Catalyst is the Crunch Amp, and it's supposed to have a really cool British overdriven sound. I'm gonna try out some double stops on the sound without effects and see how it feels. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
That feels really good. I'm just gonna put the transistor delay on and see how that sounds as well. I love how the delay gives me a little more room to finger pick and have space in between the notes. I think it sounds really great. The next setting on the Catalyst is the dynamic amp setting, and it's supposed to be really responsive to you playing lightly and then digging in. So I'm gonna check out how it sounds. <laughs> So, so far it feels really good to play those two kind of different volume parts and digging in doesn't feel like it's going to completely jump out and switching over to those arpeggiated chords feels good on the same setting. I'm just going to uh, add the chorus and see how that goes. <laughs> I really love the chorus effects that are on board of the Catalyst. There's actually six different ones, and they're all built using the HX sound technology that the Line 6 Helix also uses. There's six different choruses, six different reverbs, six different delays, and six different pitch effects. So there's really a lot to work with. The last amp setting on the Catalyst is the high gain amp, and it gives you a really powerful overdrive and distortion without losing the low end of your guitar. So I'm gonna try that out without effects here. <laughs> Awesome, so that's a really cool, fun, gnarly tone. I'm just gonna try it with one of the pitch effects, the bass octaver, next. <laughs> how the bass octaver effect just creates so much more noise and it feels really powerful and awesome and has all these distorted overtones. It sounds really cool. I really loved playing the Line 6 Catalyst today. My favorite setting was the chime setting with the rotary effect and the shimmer reverb. And I also love the high gain effect with the bass octaver. I could totally see myself using this backstage to warm up or even with uh, my guitar students, especially since I wouldn't have to bring a pedal board to go along with the amp. Something else that's really cool that goes along with this is the Catalyst Edit app that you can use on your desktop or your phone. And you can go in and play around with even more parameters that are not on the actual top of the amp. Overall, the Line 6 Catalyst is a super fun and affordable amp to use. You can go check them out at your local guitar center. Yeah.